Yo, welcome back to the checkup where we talk hoops and hoops only. And I know you read the title and you're saying, oh, it's only been two games. Hear me out though. Tyler Hero has been balling, dropped 30 points last game against the Indiana Pacers on Saturday night. And the Heat are looking pretty decent, pretty good right now. Tyler Hero said before the season started he would make people stop sleeping on him. And so far he's doing that and more. For this heat team leading the heat in scoring with 28 points per game and also if we want to go back to game one of the preseason and i know the preseason don't mean much you know the preseason doesn't matter at all but he's averaging 24 points per game and he's looking like he has an all-time high swag about his game right now or about himself we all know that he can score back from his high school days we all know he's been a hooper since those days he's been balling but he even did it on a big stage. He's proved he could do it on a big stage. He did it his rookie season during the playoffs with multiple 25-point games. Plus, he even had a couple 30s in there against the Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals in 2020. But he did go through a little rough patch. Sophomore slump, what we would call it. Considering the expectations he had going into last season, he straight up disappointed. And he disappeared in the playoffs last year against the Bucks in the first round sweep last season. But this year so far, he's found a new confidence. And he's also been playing a little bit of point guard, which I actually really like. You know, I like the scenario for him playing point in the future. He's been an improved playmaker so far this year. And Kyle Lowry already went down with an ankle injury. He should be back soon. But since, you know, Kyle Lowry's been out, Tyler Hero's been running some point. Even in the preseason when Kyle Lowry sat down or didn't play, Tyler Hero was running the point and it looks like he's doing pretty fine like he looks just fine running that position he's not just the two he's more of a combo guard that can score whenever he wants to but also facilitate now and I think that's a big thing for this Heat team because you look Kyle Lowry is not young he's 35 years old he can still play at a high level we all know this which is why Miami signed him but I think Tyler Hero's playmaking getting better and him getting the experience and the reps playing the point guard position should set him up for the future when Kyle Lowry is gone from the team and the young guys him and Adebayo are running the team he can run that point guard position for them when needed for the when you look at the current situation though I think Tyler Hero's elevated play should help this Miami bench big time especially with Victor Oladipo still rehabbing from injury And the crazy thing is, when you go back and if you look at what I said about the Miami Heat going into this season, I said, you know, Bam and Abayo, Jimmy Butler and Kyle Lowry and B.J. Tucker are going to be big. But I think the most important guy might be Tyler Hero. I said this because I think he was going to need to take that next jump as a player, become an X factor for this Heat team if they want to be on that level like a Brooklyn Nets, even though they're struggling. It's only three games. Or the Milwaukee Bucks, who are the defending champions, they need Tyler Hero to take that next step, that next leap to becoming an almost all star caliber player. And they should be, you know, right there with him. But as of right now, even though it's only been two games, Tyler Hero looks like he's going to be in that six man of the year race. He definitely looks like he's going to be in it with, you know, Derrick Rose, with Jordan Clarkson, who won it last season. He's going to be in that conversation. If he continues this level of play because right now he's not missing from three he's grabbing rebounds he had 10 rebounds last game with 30 points and he came off the bench they didn't even put him to start in that one he's averaging 28 points per game through two games which like i said small sample size it's not a huge deal but at the same time you know it's not like it's an overreaction to say that he has improved on another level this year you can't you can really just say you can see he's improved he's a much better player compared to last season or his confidence is way higher compared to last season and right now the miami heat i mean he might not be the franchise guy or maybe he is but he looks like a, a valuable player he looks like a guy that can be a go-to scorer when you need him to he's always been clutch We've known that from when he was a rookie and he had big shot after big shot in the playoffs. He did it Saturday night against the Pacers. He had another big shot. So we look at this Heat team and you look at years down the road, five years, four years down the road. 
it looks like Pat Riley got himself a point guard that can hold it down for the time being because Tyler Hero right now is a six man of the year candidate and it looks like he can be a potential all-star years to come. Anyways, that's going to do it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Link will be down in the description. This has been The Checkup, where we talk hoops and hoops only. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.